Hello, my name is Yonis Dizumon. In this video tutorial, we need to take a step further. In the previous video tutorial, we've learned how to add lives. So, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to add score. To do this, we need to right click here and select Insert a new object, scroll down to Sprites, select Sprite, and let's name this sprite SPR Coin. Click Insert. I already have one, just going to call it Coin2. OK, click once, let's select oval, let's select gold, let's make a circle here, and I'm just going to put the letter delta in Greek for drachmas. OK, let's crop that. Exit that. Okay, that's my coin. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard and add a couple coins there all around the game. Okay. So, the next thing we need to do is go to the event seat and we are going to add a new event. And we say, when our player Select the player and click Next. Collides with another object, click Next. The other object is the actual coin. Let's select on. We want something to happen. What we want to happen, we need to create a global variable to, to hold a score. So add a global variable. And we're going to call it score. And the, origin, the initial value is 0. The action here will be system action add to next score one. So the value of one. So every time we're collecting this coin, then a new value will be added on the score here. Okay. What that's okay so far, but we need to have a text object here which will display the total the number that we have on the score variable. So to do this, we need to right click here, select insert, scroll down, select text. I'm just going to call this txt score. Click insert. Click here once. Now, before we forget, we need to apply a behavior. It's going to be an anchor behavior, so it's always going to be displayed. OK. We also need an instance net variable here, so we're going to click on the instance variable, click add a new instance variable, I will call, I'm just going to call it txt score. Click OK. All right. Let's exit that. So now we're going to go to the event seat, and we're going to add here another action. The action will be on the txt score. Click Next. And then we're going to set the value. So set text, and we're just going to type here score, colon, space. So you can add any message you like here. We're going to put space here. Then we're going to say and score. So the variable score. So we have the score label followed by the score variable, which will be changing. OK. Now, if we try, press play, and we select the first coin. Okay. What we have not done is destroy the score. Okay, the coin, sorry. Okay. Also, when we actually collide with the enemy, this value doesn't actually show straight away the actual te text, the score. So we need to fix two things. Okay, the first thing we need to fix is the actual uh, coin needs to be destroyed. So on collision with this object, we want this object to, to be destroyed. So we're going to select the coin, and we're going to type here destroy. Double click it. All right. Now we want to destroy it first. Then we're going to add a value onto uh, the variable. Then we're going to set the score. 
what we need to do if we go here on the system on every tick now if you don't if you have not followed the previous video tutorial you can create a new event system event click next and then you need to type every tick okay now because i already have it there i'm just going to delete this here from here because i don't want to have on every tick twice so here i've got on every tick the action will be the text score txt score set value set text i'm just going to put here score colon and score okay so on every tick it will be so on every milliseconds or on every hundred milliseconds will basically um, uh, show me what the variable is uh, it has all right so if we press play now so straight away now i no longer see the word text even though the word text is the default text here as you can see here default word is text because the every tick is taking place automatically straight away change the value to score zero and if i collect that it will destroy the coin and if i die it will still show me that i've got score one so then i can actually score two score three score four and so on and so forth okay and if i die still remembers my score and i can actually score some more coins all right so this is how you add coins into your video game in the next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a checkpoint thank you very much for watching bye